एक्सपोनेंट्स नाउ एक्सपोनेंट्स पार और इंडेक्स बोथ रिप्रेजेंट द सेम थिंग सो आई रिटर्न दैम टूगेदर सी इफ दिस इज वन एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म नोटेशन एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म नोटेशन हैज टू वैल्यूज वन इज ए एंड अदर वन इज रिटर्न ओवर ए नाउ ए इज नोन एज द बेस वेर एज द वैल्यू रिटर्न अबव द बेस इज नोन एज योर इंडेक्स पावर और एक्सपोनेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू दैट मीन्स दिस कैन बी रिटर्न डाउन एज टू रेज टू द पावर फोर this is spoken as 2 raised to the power 4 or 2 having the exponent as 4 or you can say the index here as is 4 so here the 4 is representing the index 2 is representing the base similarly if you want to write the exponential notation for 36 that would be equal to 6 square or you can say 6 raised to the power 2 so this is known as the exponential form notation in which you write base raised to the power value next we are going to solve these questions based on this concept let us do the first question now it says express 256 as powers of 2 so how are you going to do that first of all we have to find out the factors of 2 so that this can be written in terms of factors of 2 at first so how is that calculated we take out the factors of 2 Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two eights are sixteen. Two sixes are twelve. Two fours are eight. Two threes are six. Two twos are four. Two ones are two. Two sixes are twelve. Two eights are sixteen. Two fours are eight, and two twos are four. So we get two into two into two into two into two. How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. So we can write this here: two into two into two into two, eight times, right? So that means. How many times eight is multiplied? It is multiplied with itself eight times. So we can write the exponential notation of two fifty six as two raised to power eight. That is the exponential notation because it has a base and it has a power eight. The next question is we have to express these numbers as the product of prime prime factors, or you can say the product of powers of prime factors. That means your factors must be prime numbers right so let us find out the factors for the first one that is 72 now when you find out the factors for 72 that would be 2 3 are 6 2 6 are 12 2 1 are 2 2 8 are 16 2 9 9 are 18 3 3 are 9 and 3 1 are 3 so once you write down the factors for this it would be 2 multiplied 3 times and 3 multiplied 2 times now this can be written as 2 is multiplied 3 times multiplied with 3 multiplied with itself 2 times so this is representing the exponential notation of 72 in the form of product of prime factors having their powers now the 2 and 3 are prime numbers only so these are the prime factors whose powers have we have already written so this represents the exponential notation of 72 right in the form of product of prime factors now before doing the third we have the second one also that is 1000 so let us find out the factors for 1000 now the factors for 1000 would be 25002250215025 then we can start with 5 2s are 10 5 5s are 25 5 5s are 25 and 5 1s as 5 so we can write the factors as 2 into 2 into 2 Into five into five into five. So this can be written as two raised to power three into five raised to power three. So this is the exponential notation of one thousand in the form of product of prime factors. The last question is this: when you have to simplify minus two raised to power three and minus ten raised to power three. So let us write this down. When you have to multiply, or you can say simplify these terms like these. This can be done the opposite way. That is, minus two is to be multiplied three times. So what you do? Minus two into minus two into minus two, and minus ten is to be multiplied three times. So what you do over here is you multiply minus ten three times. Now two into two into two is eight. 
and minus into minus will give you plus into minus will give you minus only so now again 10 into 10 into 10 is going to give you 1000 but with a minus sign because minus into minus is plus and plus into minus will become minus so here we get minus into minus becoming plus 8 into 1000 becomes 8000 so you have simplified your answer to plus 8000 this is how you can use the exponential form you can convert the numbers into their exponential forms and you can convert the exponential form back into the numeral form and solve it.